Morgan, this uh, demonstration, if you will, last night of some of the technology that Tesla is developing when it comes to artificial intelligence really had two components to it. The first component, the one that impacts full self-driving vehicles and the technology there. Uh, the company outlined a number of steps that it's taking. Neural nets, Project Dojo, both improving the autonomous drive technology. Remember, Tesla is not full self-driving right now. It's level two autonomy. It's nowhere close to level four or level five. Tesla is also developing a chip for training its artificial intelligence networks. So that was the meat, if you will, of the demonstration last night. And then there was the teaser, which is getting plenty of attention. And basically, this was a recruiting tool. It was Tesla introducing what they're calling the Tesla bot. They are developing a humanoid, humanoid bot, life-size, basically. It's going to stand at about 5 foot 8 inches. It'll be using full self-driving technology as well as components. Here's Elon Musk talking about why they're building this bot. It's basically going to start with... Uh just dealing with uh, work that is uh, boring, repetitive, and dangerous. Um, basically, what is the work that people would least like to do? The Tesla robot is called Optimus, at least right now. It's called Optimus. Uh, they say it's going to be ready next year. I think a lot of people are skeptical that this is going to be ready and, and even in a prototype form next year. But that is what Elon Musk was talking about. And we should point out, guys, while this is getting plenty of attention, that is exactly what Tesla was aiming for at the end of the presentation where they talked about the Tesla robot. I mean, they made it very clear on the stream. Come work at Tesla, Tesla AI. And they're looking for that artificial intelligence uh, talent. And that's really what this was, a big recruiting pitch last night at the end of the update on artificial intelligence uh, and what they're doing to improve full self-driving technology. You know, it's funny, Phil, because some of the headlines last night were talking about this humanoid, humanoid robot that would be doing boring jobs. And I was like, boring company yeah. that's going to be building tunnels? What's going on? Um, but, uh, I mean, I get, arguably it makes sense, right, given the fact that they do already have that technology. They are already making those components. It's like a hyper-vertically integrated company, just the way its sister company, SpaceX, is as well. I Correct. mean, Elon Musk is a builder. He has surrounded himself with builders, whether it's hardware or software. So the idea that this would be yes. a recruiting event more than anything, I think, is pretty notable. And, and they, look, they've done this with their other events as well. And everybody knew this going into this. So that was not a surprise, Morgan. And, and also give them credit. They wanted to grab the conversation. They have done that. Yeah, there are going to be a lot of yeah. people who will look at the guy dancing on stage and they'll be like, what a joke this was. But Elon Musk wanted to send a message to those who are interested in artificial intelligence. Look, we're working on stuff. Will it be ready next year? No. But will it be ready down the road? Will there be other elements down the road? Yes. And to your first point, Morgan, about this humanoid bot doing boring, repetitive tasks, look at Boston Dynamics and look at the progress that they've made with robotics. Now, it's amazing some of the robots that they've had, uh, and they're still developing. But that shows you that this is a slow process. It's not like you can just roll these out into a factory and immediately take mm -hmm. care of everything.